Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Chitra. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a rose petal syrup recipe. This is very easy to make. This is not uncommon for us in India. We usually make rose syrup and we also have rose sherbet. But sherbet is slightly different. You will need basil seeds or also known as sapcha seeds for making the sherbet. So I'm not making sherbet, but I do have some of this basil seeds with me, maybe at a later time. First, let me make the syrup. When you're picking these rose petals, make sure you pick them from a low traffic area and wash the petals before making the syrup. For making the syrup, you will need about roughly about 40 grams of rose petals. That's what I have measured because I don't... Uh, have huge roses so I took whatever I picked so I'm going to be making with 40 grams of rose petals remove the petals and then wash it then you will need about 600 grams of caster sugar use white caster sugar because they make good uh, syrup and they will also help it to preserve long then 500 milliliter of filtered water and then you will need one tablespoon of freshly pressed lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can also use half a teaspoon of citric acid. The purpose of adding the lemon juice is so that uh, it helps in bringing back the color because once you cook the color changes, it brings back the original color of any recipe and it also adds extra flavor and it also has some pectin which is acting as a thickening agent. So what we will be doing is wash the petals, then add them into a heavy bottom pan, add the rose petals, add the sugar water and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Make sure everything is dissolved and then stir it shortly and then let it simmer for a further of 10 minutes. Do not overheat it or over boil it because we want the essential oils of the rose itself seeping into the syrup. Take it out of the fire and then add in the lemon juice. Cool it and then add one drop of organic rose essential oil. This is completely optional. If you have access to really fragrant rose, you don't need it because we are slow cooking this. But on the other hand, for that extra zing and flavor, you can add just one drop of rose essential oil. Set it in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. This will seep in all the flavors from the rose and next day you can strain it and store in sterilized glass jar. We have a couple of rose bushes. One of them is really very productive. We could get a lot of roses. I have made a rose petal jam. I will link the recipe video below in the description box. Now let's get on with the syrup. For this, I'm adding all the rose petals which I've cleaned and removed of any debris or anything. Adding the sugar and then 600 milliliter of water. I've used roughly about 600 grams of sugar for this. Cook under medium heat until all the sugar syrup has completely dissolved. Simmer for a further of 10 minutes. This way all the essential oils from the rose petals will naturally seep into the syrup. Since I couldn't process all the rose petals immediately after harvesting, but in the meantime, I stored the petals in this swilling glass container which has the special vacuum seal. And that is really a game changer for us. I store a lot of food and vegetables also in them and they keep fresh for really long. Now add lemon juice once it has cooled slightly. When it is completely cooled, you can optionally add one drop of rose essential oil and then set the whole thing aside till it is fully cooled and then put it in the refrigerator. Next day, strain it and store it into sterilized glass jars.
this video was useful and uh, let me know how you got on with this recipe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.